YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Feels good to be back home filming content once again for you guys. So I was away for a couple of weeks. I was in Japan. I had a lot of people sending me questions. What are the best places to shop over there? I've been to Japan twice now. I feel like I do know quite a bit about this topic. So I decided to take a whole day while I was there, go to every single sneaker and streetwear shop that are some of my favorites and film some content there. So for those of you who are planning to go to Japan, I hope you guys find this video useful. This time I actually wasn't able to find any sneakers and I'll explain why at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's get into the vlog, the top places for sneakers and streetwear shopping in Tokyo, Japan. What up people? Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. So I've actually already been here for a week and a half now. Been to Tokyo, been to Osaka, been to Mount Fuji. It's been incredible. And I'm only gonna be here for a couple more days, so I thought I should probably film some content for you guys. So we're currently in Shibuya, Harajuku, which is definitely my favorite place in the world to shop. So today I thought I'd take you guys to some of the best sneakers and streetwear shops in Shibuya and Harajuku. Starting off, I first actually need to go to the Adidas store because the Wales Bonner Sambas are supposed to be dropping today and I'm hoping I can get my size, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a great day of shopping, so let's go. So that was a fail. Adidas did not have it. Uh, and according to the clerk at Adidas, he said they are not even releasing in Japan today, but I heard some insider information over at Union Tokyo that they are releasing today, so I'm gonna go try at Union, but right now I need some coffee. This is my favorite place to get coffee in Harajuku, little bakery. Highly suggest you guys check it out. So I thought let's first stop off at Atmos because it's on the way and it's really one of the best sneaker shops in Japan when it comes to just the amount of sneakers you can get in here, all types of brands, everything, all the hype sneakers, they all dropped here. So this has got to be one of the first sneaker shops you check out. These are sold out in Europe and they actually have quite a bit of resale and they're just sitting here in Tokyo. Bro. If a Panda Dunk and a Zoom Vomero had a baby. And right next to the Atmos store in Harajuku is Kindle. And Kindle is for me my favorite store period to shop in Japan. It's the best place to find, you know, vintage sneakers, vintage streetwear. They got everything, like hype stuff. They got Supreme, they got basically every single brand you can think of. Comme des Garçons, Easy Mayaki, all of the dope Japanese brands. You can find some used products here for much cheaper prices. And out of most of the thrift shopping stores that you see in Tokyo, I think Kindle has some of the best prices. They are a bit cheaper in Osaka than Tokyo, but definitely Kindle is, is great. So let's go check it out. Let's see what they got right now. I don't even know if there's a Chrome Heart store anywhere in the world, but there's definitely one right here in Harajuku. So Union actually had those Sambas in the shop, but they wouldn't sell it to me because Adidas told them to delay the release by a week. So tough luck for me I won't even be in Tokyo next week so I won't be able to cop them unfortunately but it's fine because the store I really wanted to bring you guys was right above Union you see Worm Tokyo there and Worm in my opinion could even be the best sneaker store in the world maybe because they got the rarest sneakers there that you'll ever see like they got everything they got 1985 Jordans they got literally anything you can think of some of the biggest celebrities shop here Pharrell ASAP Rocky, Frank Ocean, every time they're in Tokyo, they make sure to go to Worm. I did take some footage when I was there last week, so I'll show you guys some of that because right now, for some reason, the shop seems to be closed, even though their opening hours say they should be open right now, but 
I don't know, maybe they just decided to take the day off, but I will show you guys some of the footage I took earlier. You definitely want to check out Beams as well. It's a Japanese streetwear brand and the prices are pretty good, at least here in Japan, compared to what Beams goes for uh, if you check out other stores. I did buy a few items here myself and they're really, really dope. So they do have a very big store here in Harajuku you might want to check out. Another store I went into was The Network Business, which was a consignment store in Harajuku. This store had some of the best prices I've seen, so a lot of the prices I thought were very similar to StockX, sometimes even lower. So this is definitely a place you want to check out to find some pretty decently priced shoes. And right next to it was another consignment store called Carry Me, which was a little bit pricier, but they had some of the most rarest sneakers like the Gucci Air Force Ones. First time seeing those in person. I also checked out the Stussy store, couldn't find anything, but I did find a shirt from This Is Never That, a Korean brand. There's also The Basement, which was recommended by a few of you guys to check out. Some crazy, crazy heat in this store, especially check out this wall of Nike Air Yeezys. Oh my god. So I told you guys already about Kindle. After Kindle, Second Street would probably be my favorite place to also find some secondhand vintage stuff in Tokyo. You can get all kinds of brands here, dope sneakers as well. So make sure you check out Second Street as well as Kindle. So this is new. This is a StockX drop-off store. So you can actually sell stuff on StockX, come here and just drop it off. And they also have a bunch of sneakers in the shop which you can't actually buy at the shop but you can basically scan the QR codes of these sneakers buy them online like you would normally do on StockX but that's pretty cool I guess uh, it would save you some money if you're trying to sell stuff on StockX you save on the shipping fees if you just uh, drop it off here so yeah check it out as well for all my female sneaker heads definitely you guys want to check out the Atmos girls store which is also in Harajuku and they have a lot of really dope stuff here especially their clothing items I got my girls some stuff from here as well and uh, they got really nice sneakers as well so check it out so we are at the Jordan World of Flight store I believe that's what it's called it just opened up like it opened up a couple of months ago here in Shibuya and I've been meaning to check it out so let's go Kith also just recently opened in Tokyo just a few months ago, so let's check it out. Grey day is sitting. These vapor max on steroids. They got a wall of all of these hip collabs of all time, pretty much, and it's pretty amazing. Like, look at how many collabs they got. These are the shoes I'm wearing right now. I paid 150 for them in Germany. And over here, they're going for around 110. So it's kind of crazy. This shop, ABC, everything is way cheaper here. Like every single brand, like wow.
There's also a sneakers and stuff location in Tokyo. This is also pretty recent, maybe like a couple of years ago. I still haven't been to it, so I'm gonna check it out right now. You gotta like walk through this garden to get here. Oh, there it is. Hey guys, so I actually have to film this part of the video on a different day because the store I'm about to go to was just totally out of the area but I absolutely had to visit it because I got some recommendations from you guys that this store right here is apparently a museum for New Balance fans. Some of the rarest colorways and if you love New Balance, you gotta check it out. It doesn't look like much but uh, this store I've heard a lot of good things, so I'm gonna check it out. It's called Jim Bocho Kicks, so let's have a look. So that's about it for what I'm gonna show in this video. Now, I only showed you guys Shibuya and Harajuku, but there are, of course, way more districts in Tokyo where you'll find a lot of sneaker shops, such as Ginza. And if you wanna also go to Shimo Kitazawa, I highly recommend because the thrift shopping, the vintage shopping there is amazing and way better prices than central Tokyo. So make sure you check that area out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions you may have, leave a comment. And now back to Berlin. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that and found it useful. One short update is that just this week, actually, that I'm filming this video, Sneakers and Stuff actually decided to close their Tokyo location. So that is pretty unfortunate. So the reason why I couldn't find any sneakers for myself on this trip is because it's honestly quite difficult to find sneakers in big sizes in Tokyo. At least that was my experience. Pretty much any consignment shop you go to, you might find some nice sneakers on the wall for pretty decent prices. But everywhere I went, I was not able to find any sneakers in my size, which was a US 11. For example, I was trying to get a pair of that Jordan 1 Low Tokyo exclusive. It looked almost like a Union colorway. And I found them for really good prices going for pretty much retail but I was just not able to find any store that sold them in my size. With that being said though, I think if you do have a shoe size below US 10, you're pretty much in a sneaker and streetwear paradise. I personally cannot wait to go back. If you found this video useful, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And of course, subscribe too, because I'm dropping a ton of sneaker content every single week, two or three videos a week. So make sure you check it out. The links to all my socials are in the description as well as my bi-weekly sneaker podcast. Once again, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next video.